Meet my sister. What did you think when your sister Christine got pregnant as a teenager? What do you think? What'd you do? You look different. Taking some Instagram pics of Ange. Good morning, everybody. Happy Vlogmas Day 17. I can't believe it. Let's just make sure that it is 17. It is. That's crazy. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and turn the Christmas lights on, baby. Ah, it's like magic. <laughs> we mustn't forget to do tree number two. All right, guys. So... I'm up and starting everything a little bit late. It's like 10 a.m. right now. This is the first time that I've done like actual eyeshadow in a really long time. Let's just open these blinds up and let some light in. Okay. What a beautiful day. I want to show you guys outside a little bit later because we have some bunnies that hop around. So this is my first time wearing color on my eyes in a really long time but I kind of like it because it's a little something different. It's fresh, it's green, so it's very brightening to my eyes, and it's kind of festive too. So the palette that I used is the Jaclyn Hill Dark Magic palette, I think it's called. Um, yeah, I just got it at Ulta the other day and I hauled it in yesterday's video, in the Target haul video. I was thinking about making pancakes this morning, but it's just that I have so much stuff to do. Don't want to like delay everything. I'm going to be filming a video with my sister in this video so you guys can meet her. A lot of you guys wanted to know who that person is that uh, you see like blips of in my videos lately. I've got some packages to drop off right now and I kind of want to get a smoothie. I know I go there like every day, but a lot of people get Starbucks every morning. I just get my juicy ladies. It is Friday right now and I'm thinking that we have to like milk the crap out of this weekend being that it's the last weekend before Christmas so we got to do some fun festive stuff I was thinking about going to this little Dutch town like a couple hours outside of LA and it's called Solvang and it literally looks like you're in what's Dutchland what's Dutchland pop up I think Dutchland is like Sweden no it's not Germany why can't I think of it? <laughs> I kind of want to eat some guacamole from last night, but I kind of know that I shouldn't, so I probably should eat oatmeal. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make my breakfast and we're gonna get the day started. Here's the tree as it stands today. So Chris actually made some progress and packed some of the gifts that he bought. I'm actually gonna see if Lex wants to go with me because I have to drop off some packages right now and um, maybe get a smoothie. <laughs> Oh my gosh, did you hear me coming? Yeah. <laughs> I've been Hi, my little. Huh? I've been oh my. Hi, my little Russian spy. Hello. You guys, look, Lex is still wearing that hat. Still, what is it called? It's called a trapper hat. Lex is still wearing that trapper hat. You yes. look like a Russian spy, my boy. You look like a Russian spy. I got that blanket from the dirty clothes last night because I heard a thud under here and I assumed it was the bed breaking. Well, I got up right away and pulled it out. You got scared? Oh, then, that's a good... And then I, I got the blanket so they don't go under there. You're such a good brother. I think Valentine's Valentine! 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 I see her tail. I see her booty. My arm's still hurt. Alex is super sore from playing tennis the other day. You are playing hard, huh? Yeah, I mean, I haven't done any physical activity like since the last time I played tennis, which was like a year ago. Oh no. <laughs> You're building those muscles, boy. You're building those muscles. Maybe. Always have to let positive light in here, okay? For some reason, I thought you were talking about like dog paws, and I didn't know what you were talking about. Well, no, just positive sunlight every morning to brighten up your room. So, a lot of people want to know a little bit about Rover. He has no teeth, so he can't keep his tongue in. So we have to push it in. Yeah, he lost all of his teeth. Rover! Rover! You guys, he doesn't respond to his name. He responds to this. Okay, do you want to come with me to Juicy Ladies and drop off packages or do you want to stay home? Um, I guess I'll come with you. Okay, come on. We gotta go. I'll meet you downstairs, kiddo. I just love when the window's open. Let's take you guys outside so you can see what a beautiful day it is. I'm just gonna put on Lex's slides. You know what? It's actually... Pretty chilly, regardless of how sunny it is. It's not too bad though. Or should I say it's chilly for LA people? <laughs> I 
we got a weak tolerance for for any type anything below uh 70 degrees if you guys look around this meadow in front of our house there are some bunnies usually that come down maybe we could spot one but when we first moved in here, I knew it was meant to be. So ever since I was a young kid, I've just had like bunnies my whole life. Like I've had probably 10 bunnies growing up as a child and they just mean so much to me. Like I love, love, love bunnies so much. So I knew that when we moved in here and I saw those bunnies out in the meadow, I knew that we were meant to be here and this was like perfect, the perfect home for us and it was just like meant to be. Say hi. Hello. Chris is at work right now in the office. Were you, um... Yeah, I was yelling out to you because I couldn't figure out what the Dutch town is called. Because I was telling them how we're going to go to Solvang maybe, and it's like a Dutch town, but I couldn't figure out what country Dutch is. Dutch. Is it just Germany? Dutch is... Chris is a professional. He's in the travel industry. <laughs> he should know this. Come on. Dutch is like... The Netherlands, I think? Netherlands, yeah, that's it. I actually donated eggs to people in the Netherlands. Yeah, I, I donated my eggs before. I've talked about that in a video. I think it was like random facts about us or like embarrassing yeah, facts about us or something that like that. Correct. It is, is Netherlands? Yeah. I think I'm gonna eat a little bit of my guacamole from last night while I wait for Alex. So good. If you guys have never made guacamole before, it's so easy. I really, really recommend adding smoked paprika to it. So good. And also, if you guys have some hot sauce, um, specifically sriracha, it's so good in this. So you just get a little bit of the guacamole on the chip, sprinkle a little bit of paprika. It's just so smoky and so good. Okay guys, I hear Lex coming down right now. It's a stampede of dogs. Hey kiddo, want a bite? I'm okay. Here, oh, have a bite. Oh, there's a camera. Big bite. Smoky. Yum. One more bite, I swear. What is it like to have her as a sibling? What is it like to have me as a sibling? Well, she helps out a lot. I'm here because she's trying to help me. So Ange came here in March. So this was like right when the pandemic was hitting. And Ange was going through some tough times. I don't know how much you want me to talk about Ange. I was going through a tough breakup after three years. Of being together? Yeah. And you're just in a really bad place. I think when you go through your first breakup, it's just so tough on you. Especially when you're young, before you have your life together. Everything you depend on, your happiness, everything is dependent on that person versus like, when you get out in the real world, you kind of have your own things going on and you don't really need somebody to make you feel happy. If I can be an open book. So Ange has been dealing with depression. This is something that we knew, you know, she's been dealing with for a long time, but she's 20 now and she's never really gotten treatment for it. And I think it's a good thing that we're talking about it here on this platform because I mean, this is what happens to millions of people. They're dealing with it, the depression, but they don't seek out help because they don't want to feel weak or, you know, they don't know what to expect. They don't want to be labeled as like crazy, but it's such a common thing and nobody talks about it. Nobody sheds light on it because people are embarrassed. See, if you were an adult, I would have left you alone. Like we were just talking about how I don't want to help anybody that doesn't want it. But the fact that you haven't even had a chance to like see what it's like in the real world and to experience happiness and to like be independent and stuff, I'd say, okay, you know what? That's your choice. You know what to do in life, but like literally you don't have a clue. On a happier note, Ange is getting some treatment. We're getting Ange some help. I am on a lot of drugs. <laughs> no, but um, we are working with a professional therapist. No, not a therapist, uh, a psychiatrist. And on some medications, I mean, it's, it hasn't really worked so far. We're still trying to work on the doses, 
dosage. Hopefully soon we'll be able to figure this out and get Ange out there working in the wor real world. So next question, did you have the same experiences growing up? Similar experiences. You just rebelled kind of in your own way. And I rebelled in my own way of wanting independence. So Ange also has like a social issue, which I think we can all relate to, but you know, I'm trying to help Ange be able to form connections, you know, understand how to communicate in a social setting. And I personally did not know how to do it. Um, I was worried that Lex wouldn't know how to do it, which is why I signed him up for like socializing class once. So like I was just asking Ange, like if you were in a party and there's a bunch of your friends' friends that you see on a couch and you don't know them and they're just staring at you, what would you say or do normally as you are now? I have no idea what I'd say. Okay, I'm so not the best conversationalist. What I would do is just, you know, put your hand out and say, Look them in the eye and say, hi, my name's Ange. Hey, my name's Ange. Hey, my name's Ange. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you when they respond with their name, okay? Try it right now, let's try it. It's like super professional. No, it's just like nice, you're just being polite. Hey, you're, I'm walking to a house. I don't know you guys, but I want to introduce myself. What do you say? Hi, my name's Ange. Chris, stop! Don't make fun. Okay, try it again. Hi, my name's- Eye contact. Oh God. <laughs> Isn't this relatable, you guys? When you make eye contact, where do you look? Just in their eye, even if it's just for a split second. Just as long as you make eye contact and you can put your hand down. Say like this, look at me, what I'm doing. I make eye contact for a second. Hi. And then you can look down. My name's Ange, okay? And then you can start looking away and look to the next person, okay? Does anybody else have socializing tips on how to handle social interactions? How did you get better at it? For me, I feel like I got better when I became a waitress. Who does, baby? What did you think about Ati? Ange calls me Ati because that means big sister in, in Tagalog, Filipino language. Ate. Ati working at Hooters. Your butt was sticking out. I think you said that. Their butt stick out. So what, was, what did you think about it? Did you think it was a prostitute, an in international house of prostitutes? Yeah, pretty much. My mom basically called IHOP the international house of prostitutes because <laughs> You want to tell the story? Oh, it wasn't exactly. She thought our dad was checking out a lady while we were all eating dinner at IHOP. <laughs> she said the International House of Prostitutes. <laughs> but she was so mad when she said it. <laughs> so it was so funny. She was so serious about that. It's funny now, but it was annoying in the moment. Yeah. Do you have other siblings? Go ahead, again, shake it away. Yeah. Alex. Oliver. Who's a year older than you. Yeah. And then technically, um... Technically, I have another half-sister, half-brother. We don't really see them or talk to them. Um, we just didn't grow up with them growing up. So maybe that's why it's a little hard to, you know, keep a relationship up. However, I would like to. And I actually have like two stepsisters. Next question, do you guys have anything in common? I think we both like deep conversations. I think we both like that movie, Resident Evil, the series. Oh, yeah. Other than that, we're very, very different people, wouldn't you say? Yeah, she is. Super girly. So the next question is, what did you think when your sister Christine got pregnant as a teenager? I mean, I don't really remember what I thought. You probably didn't know that it was like weird. I feel like I probably knew it was kind of weird. Like I was too young? Yeah. So Ange, actually, when I was pregnant, would look at my belly and, and I would tell her and my our sister Alex that the reason my belly's so big is because I ate the whole turkey. And then you would just giggle and laugh like crazy. <laughs> You're such a happily, happy, giggly child. Yes, I turned into something very different. As a madre would say, evil. evil. Ange isn't evil. Ange actually has the best, kindest heart, especially for animals and for Lex. Ange really cares for Lex. I used to not care about Lex. I tied him to a door once. That's mean. When did you start caring about Lex? You always cared about Lex. What are you talking about? You would try to protect him from when our parents would fight. That was later on though. Oh. But yeah, back when I was like six or seven, I tied him to a door because it was annoying. That's mean! I don't like little kids, even though I was a kid. Rude! Okay guys, I got her the shortest Diamore lashes. That's the shortest? This is Cher. Go get your Cher lashes! Is all the stories that I told true? From what I know, yes. We had a crazy life. Why do people like their lashes so long? Because the light's pretty! Don't you want to look like a glowing goddess? And she's like, I'm going to god! Ladies out there, if you single and you ready to mingle, call 818. So are you looking for a, a girlfriend? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, that's a good question, right? So do you feel like you're ready for a relationship? I know that you just had a recent breakup. Actually, it's not very recent. We've moved on, right? Yeah. That's right. When do you feel like you'll be ready for a relationship, if not now? When my life is in order. That's a good idea. Your eyes are like, nope. It's like literally rejecting. Yeah, my body just 
rejects makeup. As you can tell, I don't really have anyone girly to relate to in this family. Yeah, she complains about it all the time. Everyone's so unique in their own unique ways in this family. Except me, I'm the most basic one. Yeah, we have no other basic family members. She's kind of out of place here. Like, all of you guys get along just great. Like, you guys are all into the same things. Pokemon, gaming, you guys are all kind of introverted life, which is great. I mean, I'm down to going out to places. No, I know you like going out, but like social, but I'm talking about socializing, just like going out. Dang, that looks good on you, actually. That lash is perfect for you. Yeah, Don't! The lower one sticking to it. It's All weird. I see is eyelash. How do people deal with this? It actually does take some getting used to that, so it's okay. I get it. What's it like to have a sister that's way older than you are? I am 33 and just 20. When you were born? So what's it like, like having a sister that's so much older than you? My gosh! I mean, it was nice when I was younger. Yeah, how so? You would help us get away from the mother. Mm-hmm. When they needed an escape. Chris and I would actually go pick them up. But I feel bad because they lived in Woodland and then we ended up moving to LA, so I couldn't be there as much as I wanted to. But now, what's it like? It's kind of strange. Look up. I'm an adult now, I guess, but she's still hella old. <laughs> That's messed up. And then hearing about how life was in the, what, 80s and 90s? 80s? Well, 90s. Dang, I'm not that old. Okay. I do not remember one thing about the 80s. Not when you were I was born grade. in 87. I wouldn't remember anything. Boom! And that, my friend, is why we wear lashes. I feel like I have a unibrow that's just like hanging down because I can <laughs> see it off to the side here. Oh, lashes for the first time. So guys, quick plug of the DMR collection. I actually also sell these lash tweezers just to make application so much easier if you're a first time user. Okay, so next we're going to apply some foundation and you don't really need it, but we're just gonna even out your skin tone. Feels like these lashes are stuck to my eyeballs. Okay, look up. There you go. Okay, blend it down your neck. Now we're gonna go ahead and do some concealer. Conceal all my blemishes, please. Conceal my life. Conceal my soul. Yeah, just conceal everything. You actually have like a cute face. Like it looks friendly and cute when you have makeup on. Anything else you want to share about yourself? I'm gay. Oh god. <laughs> I don't know, what else do I have to share? Do you want to talk about the first time that you told me? I was little. And she straight up asked me if I was a lesbian. I don't remember that at all. Yeah, I don't you know don't where you get that. But up. I remember it. And you were like asking me if I liked anyone. But it's weird because you said you liked boy, a, a boy, a boy. Yeah, because he was Australian. Oh gosh, I like Aussies. Australian Fabea. What is that beer commercial? I forgot what it was. <laughs> you want to move to Australia still? Kind of. Although their spiders are humongous. You can't let the spiders in life prevent you from doing what you love, Ange. There's I mean, gonna be many spiders that you're gonna have to face in life. I don't wanna be like laying in bed and suddenly there's this giant ass spider. Well, at least he's just staring at you and he's not biting you. <laughs> <laughs> but they're just huge. Can you imagine that thing crawling on you? Does anyone live in Australia and does your lifestyle ever come across spiders like that? You ready for some rosy cheeks, Pan? Oh, great. Yay! Ooh, who are you blushing for? Who are you blushing for? Okay, look at that. So much dirt on my face. You ready for some KKW on your lips? Let's make it look like you have injections. Ready? All of the other rain. Can you see yourself doing this every single day? No. On yourself? This is way too much effort. Ready for some Kylie? Oh god. Kylie lips, here you go. Used to laugh and call him names. Let's let your hair down now. Ladies, where are you at? This is like your, another side of you. My lips look weird. But they look full, right? Looks crazy. Here. We look like twins! Now we look like sisters! I think it needs more lighter. Hmm? Like, smaller outline. Oh, okay! Where do you, where, where are you I talking about? Because... I'm talking about your eyes? It's super dark now, and lips. Oh, I know, it's meant to be that way, it's overlined. <laughs> Go on, take some things that look like... Yes! Oh my <laughs> gosh! That's what I'm talking about, do it! Woo! You should get everybody's reaction. They have never seen Ange like this. Should we? Let's do it. Okay guys, turn around, meet my sister. Woo woo. Okay, come over here. We're gonna get everybody's reaction. Wait, let's go get Lex's reaction first. Ready? What do you think? 
What'd you do? I turned Ange into me. You look different. Do you like it? Burns. <laughs> It's not holy water, Ange. It might as well be. Look at those lashes, though. DMR collection. Get them. They're Cher. Supernatural. So cute. Time to pick up the ladies. So I picked out an outfit for Ange. And it's not too crazy, not too girly, but she's putting it on right now. So I'll go ahead and show you the reveal right now. Woo! Oh my goodness. And I only did this because Ange brought it up, okay? I'm not trying to change Ange's style or anything. Why not? <laughs> Let's go take some pictures if you want. You want to take pics? Sure. Remember I told you guys earlier about the bunnies in the meadow? They're right there. Back to Ange. Why are you walking like that, silly? Walk normal. You know, walk with swag. This is an outfit that has swag. There you go, there you go. Okay, like you're in a music video, okay. It looks so good though. Seriously, it's so, it's different. You don't have to even like put makeup on. You could just like wear this color. Like the color works really good for you. Like brightness, like. The neon green and black. Yeah, it actually doesn't look too bad. Okay. It doesn't even have to be girly. You can still go back to your uh, swagga, but just spice up the colors a little bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> These things are still poking me. But it looks so good. It looks so good. Damn. Okay, you're rocking it. You look great. Okay, here, let's take our thumbnail now. Taking some Instagram pics of Ange. Put your feet flat on the floor, actually. There you go. You're good, you're good. Okay, hang your elbow just off a little bit more. There you go. I love it. Since I've never had like a girly sister before to do basic things with, come on, why don't you sit down and let's take some selfies together. I'm gonna show you all my favorite filters, okay? Come here, scooch in, come on. Okay, this is my favorite filter because it makes your lips look really big. So check this out, isn't that crazy? Look, look. Okay, let's take selfies. Eee! How do you like that filter? No. No? Mm. It looks so cute. Mm. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us on Vlogmas Day 17. You guys got to meet my sister, Ange. I had an opportunity to do some filtered photos with her. So now we're gonna go ahead and sign out of the video. Let us know if you guys want to see Ange in more videos, if you have any questions for Ange, maybe any advice for Ange, cause you know, we all go through some tough times in life, but comment about what you think about Ange's makeover and just leave some nice, kind words of encouragement. We could all use it from time to time. And yeah, don't forget to follow us on social media if you haven't already. It'll be listed right here and down below as well. Also, don't forget to uh, join our DMR Darling family if you haven't done so already by hitting the notification button down below so you know about all of our Vlogmas videos. We have a lot of fun, cozy, Christmassy activities coming in this weekend's Vlogmas. It is Friday and we are here at the weekend before Christmas, so don't forget to join us for the rest of our videos later this weekend, darlings. As always, we love you, darlings, very much, and we will talk to you later. Say love you, darlings. Say it. Love you, darlings. Ah, oh, and blow kiss, blow kiss, blow oh. kiss. Mwah. And then hit the camera. That's right, good job, Ian. Oh, God. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, guys, we're going to go to Target right now. Snake murder. This is our first time doing a haul for anything, so this is very exciting. I think it's safe to say that I went a little crazy on gift bags today. Joy to the world. I need to go ahead and make some guacamole tonight because my avocados are super squishy, they're mushy. Okay, big bite, guacamole. So guys, we're going to go to Target right now. Snake murder. This is our first time doing a haul for anything, so this is very exciting. I think it's safe to say that I went a little crazy on gift bags today. Joy to the world. I need to go ahead and make some guacamole tonight because my avocados are super squishy, they're mushy. Okay, big bite, guacamole.